right. So tell me, what were you struggling with before we started working together? Yeah, I felt really confused about how to take charge of my health. And what my biggest concern was really sleep. It's like, it's a basic human function and I couldn't get it right. Like I was sleeping five hours one night and then nine hours the next night. And then there were nights where I just couldn't sleep at all. And I thought I was an insomnia. I thought I had insomnia. All my doctors wanted to do for me was prescribe sleeping pills. That was not a solution for me. When I heard that Tanessa could help me and work on something that would actually work for me without resorting to sleeping pills and leverage how nature works, how my body is supposed to work, it's kind of a no-brainer to try it. Yeah, definitely. Um, What about like where you were with food, just exercise before starting? Food and exercise, due to the pandemic, I just kind of let it go. Food, I was not eating meals consistently. I gave up on breakfast. I actually didn't feel hungry in the morning at all. And so I thought, okay, it should be fine if I don't eat it. Well, I learned that that's not the case. And even though I thought it was a bit impossible, I'm now hungry in the mornings. I eat three meals a day. I eat them regularly. One of the things that changed the most was seeing how... I can meal prep really delicious meals instead of kind of like the gym bro meal of rice and chicken and broccoli. I'm excited to eat every day. I've worked into my schedule to prepare it ahead of time so that it's ready. It's not It's not like, oh, I should probably door dash something. And then two hours later, I haven't door dashed anything and then I'm eating at 9 p.m. No, I already have something in my fridge ready to go. And then when it came to movement, it's funny because like naturally as I got more sleep, I was just like, oh, now I want to move more too. And so on my own, I first decided I'll do Pilates. Uh, But what Tanessa's taught me that has changed everything is cycle syncing. Before I would do like a 30 day workout challenge, super high intensity stuff. I would get different results each time. And I found out like if I had started it on like a week when my energy is naturally higher, then I had better results. But if I started like the week after my or the week before my period or during my period that I never got through it. And now I know why. Like, I don't need to be that hardcore the whole month. Oh, I love that. I love it. So what did you achieve in coaching together that you are most proud of? Like the things that you were doing differently now? I really think I'm a different person completely from when we started. Just, yeah, not just in my daily routine. um, But if if we look at my sleep data alone, like we can see that I'm a different person. Oh, one of the things I found out is I'm a natural deep sleeper, but I I wasn't that great at getting REM sleep. But now I have tools and strategies in place that help me optimize that. And one of my favorite things was I had, I think like a 12, 11 or 12 day streak of getting enough REM sleep for myself. And that felt really great. That's so fun. Um, What do you think that you're most proud of achieving with the way you've made changes with food and with exercise? Food is probably the biggest change because I consider myself a complete foodie. I travel for food. I literally drive two hours to try a new restaurant. I would put this as my relationship with food is different. Yeah. The biggest thing that I always, 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 always turn to, like in times of stress or looking for comfort was hot Cheetos. But now I can look at them and say, no, I'm not going to have these because I know that it's going to make me feel less good. I'm probably going to feel bloated. My energy is going to drop and it's just not worth it. Oh, I love that. And with the exercise, what would you say has changed the most? Exercise, what's changed the most is my expectations for myself when it comes to it. I feel like I have more options. I've decided that more things count as exercise than I did before. If a walk is it for that day, it counts. I like VR games and like Just Dance on the Nintendo Switch. And I wasn't thinking of that as exercise before, but they actually are. It's more fun. I love that. And what would you say or tell someone who was hesitant to try coaching or was on the fence about working with me? If you're on the fence, I want to ask you why you're hanging out there. 
because if you're curious, you should definitely go for it. Yeah, definitely. Um, is there anything else that you think would be important for someone to know or that you'd want to share based on what you've learned? I'd say the biggest thing is we've we receive a lot of different messages about what health is and what health looks like or should be like from people like our doctors or the healthcare system that we think that we should trust. But if it feels off, there's probably a reason why. And I think it's so worth exploring that in a space like the one that Tanessa holds. Perfect. Thank you so much for that.